Greetings from Volgograd. This is a mosaic from a youth theater from 1970. And Volgograd was previously better known, at least during the Second World War, as Stalingrad. So let's take a look at some memorial sites. Then let's grab a lunch. And then let's go to Metro Tram. Ah, there's another mosaic. First this one. soup with oats and for the main dish potato and filled paprika let's go One point two million people lost their lives in the Battle of Stalingrad. Like the current population of Volgograd, so Stalingrad, is a little bit more than one million. This is the last preserved building from the Stalingrad to remind us how the city looked when it was liberated. Yeah, and that thing, it's actually not a nuclear reactor, I also thought so, but... Uh, it's a museum of Stalingrad battle. Anyhow, from history, let's go to the metro tram, so to the underground tram. It has 22 lines. Six of them are underground in the total length of six kilometers. Let's go. So we are entering the metro tram that is actually an underground tram so it's not subway but tram that the drives underground actually it was constructed in 1984 at least the first part and then the second part in 2011. So, well, it's possible to take pictures and videos in here, just not the people. So, yeah, the first part was constructed in 1984 and the second part in 2011 well the interesting thing is it has the same dimensions as metro and there are like this power cables okay everyone is looking strangely let's wait for a tram to come
here we are in the Lenin Square. Well, this station is not as nice as the one in Moscow, but better than that bus.